Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully get all that our group name, right? So here we successfully get all that our group name. Now a specific this group related all that our permission I want to do and load it in here. So if you want to do this work here, now we have to work in our another column I have already divided as a call nine. You can see that is our call nine, that is our call three, great. So now here, okay, here after that, I want to better take one of the PHP block. Okay, I want to take one of the PHP block. I want to mend it. So that will be the and PHP. So here I take one of the variable. I name it as a permissions, permissions. Okay, this type of the variable. Now I want to do, I want to create another function in our user table. So for the reasons I want to access our user model. So that will be the app use. So that means the app and backslash that our models. Okay, that will be the models backslash our user model I want to access and now into the user model area here I want to create another new function I name it as a get permission permission by group name okay group name what of the name actually choose right now I use some of the related name that is a get permission by group name so I want to do I want to get it and here I want to pass our group name like I have already right now into the for each loop you can see I have already into the for each loop here I have already get all that our permission group I take the things with this variable now I want to do I want to pass that our group name from here okay so that will be our field name as a group Z R O U P group underscore name okay I simply pass it so now we have to create our this function in our user model if you now go to that our user model here after that I want to create another new one that will be the public and then a static and then also I want to call that function function name will be as a get permission by group name okay here I simply created this function great so into the function here also I pass another group name you can see I have also passed it our group name so I want to do and to take it so that will be our parameter parameter area I want to do and to get that as a group name great so now we have to do we have to get it by the from our permission table I want to take another variable I name it as a permission permissions and permissions will be which one here also I want to use it as a DB because I want to use that our query builder so DB and then table DB table I want to access our which table I want to access that our permission model that means permission table right so that is our permission table so into the permissions table area here I want to do I want to now select okay that will be the select I want to select I want to select our which things here you can actually assign like I want to do I want to select in our permissions table I want to select that name and also I want to select that ID ID will be also needed it because of all here um, if you go that is multiple one also should be as a selected right so here I will actually pass that ID so for the reasons I want to do and to get that name and then I want to do also I want to select our another field in our permissions table as an ID okay and now we have to get it by the our where by so that will be as a where okay so that is a where where will be by the group name right so that will be as group name and this group name when that will be matched with our that is the our requested group name that I have already passed it when both of this will be matched then I want to do I want to get this data okay I simply get it and then from here I want to pass one of the um, return value so that will be the return and I want to pass that return as a permission okay that means that is actually our permission I want to do I want to simply return it great I hope friend everything every part is very clear now I pass it as a permission now in our add role page here now I want to do and to display it in particular that tab okay that means here I want to display all that our permission so I take another for each that will be the for each and Dave is started Dave is ended so here that will be as a and for each okay great now I take it by the variable name here I pass it by the name as a permissions right so that is our variable name as a permissions permission I want to do to make it as a as permission permission okay great now that will be our permission and now by this permission I want to do I want to display our permission table field name that means right now with this permission I want to display our permission table field name as a name right that means if you go that is actually our name field all that our name should be displayed great now uh, let's check this out I want to check it first click as a save all and I want to do I want to run that optimize 
optimize running successful and now if you go okay now let's check this out click as a refresh mm, you can see it's now successfully get all that our group related permission right here but i want to do i want to add one of the bracket okay after that for each i want to use one of the bracket then that will be locative if you now click as a save all and now if you refresh it hmm, you can see now that is look like much better right now isn't related that is all that our permission is loaded and image is related all that permission is loaded here i have all, only used one permission for the category for the comment i have used only one permission for the property that is a multiple permission everything you can see that is testimonial related i have inserted some of the permission now group by all that our permission is now successfully visible right great so now we have to do here when you select it i want to do and to pass that our permission id if you also want to do this work like that is our input field right into the input field area that is one of the id you can see that is our check default so that is also the check default here i want to do in our input field area i want to use one of the name okay names because that will be also needed because we have to also insert this data right so i want to name it as a permission permission okay now this type of the name i want to add and also here that will be inserted as a multiple data right multiple permission we have to insert so that is the reason i pass that as a empty array great and id here i want to do that is a checkbox default and after that i want to done to pass that our permission stable id because i have also selected as a name and then id right now here after that i want to do it to simply sorry here i want to pass it like that way i copy it and i pass it so that will be our id now that will be our unique okay so here i make it as unique right now great and also from to this position i want to pass that value value will be the same here i want to pass that our id okay that means our permission stable id i want to pass it great and also there is a check default check default will be the same i want to pass it as a different id then that means our class will be as a check default and one id two id three id right so that will be actually individual that is our level okay that is our level level is fine input field input field area i simply added that our name as a permission that is our id that is a check default and here that is also different class that's all okay that's all now everything is work perfectly okay now if you refresh it now you can actually select that multiple one at a time and that is also another one great great so right now in our next video friend i want to do before you store this data i want to do here when you select it as all permission okay when you select this all permission all the tower permission will be as a selected at a time okay so then that will be better rather than individually one by one you have to actually update all so i don't want to do this work here with using simple one of the javascript i will actually done this job when you select it all that our permission will be selected okay how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video